in this video we are going to talk about how to change serial number of your device and most of you have been complaining to me that hey I tried generating activation ticket with Google Chrome disk and then it doesn't work it says I should, I should change serial number and blah 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 yes this occurs because your device the server cannot generate a valid activation ticket for your device hence you cannot activate your device so I, I created or I added the serial number changer just to help you bypass your device regardless the, the, the phone that you you're trying to bypass and then changing your serial number is relatively easy but uh, a note here please make sure that you have saved your original serial number somewhere before proceeding with this proceeding with changing your serial number because if you lose it it might be hard to get it the original serial number back okay so without further ado let's start the video so I have an iPhone 7 here and which is on activation lock lock screen I will use this and then we are all going to learn how to change the serial number of this device I have the original serial number saved on my desktop in this file here yeah, it is saved here inside the file so I have connected my device you see I have an iPhone 7 here in DFU mode so let's go to program disk and then click on check device okay so first of all you might want to go to options and check serial number and then back then click on check device you know that even though our device is connected but it says that hey there is no device connected yes this is because when you come here we can see our apple device under lib usb key which is not supported by program this and many other tools so all you have to do is you have to uninstall this go to yes uninstall Then after that, I click on this uh, magnifying in the computer, and it should connect your device again. See, it is connected again, and then we are not going to get this issue. So click on check device, and boom, we can see that um, we have we, our device has been connected. So I will quickly connect to the internet again. Adding me my, my computer is, is very slow so yes we have already registered my serial number so if you've not registered just click on this then click on register here it should open the page where you're going to register just put your serial number inside and click on register and then it should register your device and after registration you can go back here and then click on start so before you, you start booting your device into purple mode make sure you download your boot ram disk from here yes i've already downloaded mine and it's it's in ram then after download put it in a purple folder put it here i have mine here so if you you have so if you put it inside a purple folder please do not extract it don't ask for an extraction key because the, the tool doesn't need you to extract it the tool will do that itself and then make sure that your driver is under universal serial bus controllers if it is not uninstalled the previous driver click on this magnifying icon scan for hardware changes and it should bring you here if it doesn't work go to toolbox then uninstall drivers and then that is also going to work so with so let's since our device is in DFU mode we fix the drivers we registered our ECID let's click on boot purple our driver is still intact so if it changes it seems it means you're not going to get um, good we 
we've successfully connected to a purple mode. Yes, I can, my device is in purple mode. One, one, one person asked me, why is my device green when it says purple mode? It doesn't matter if it says successfully booted in purple mode, that is it. Whether your device is green, red, blue, whatever it is, just leave it like that. So let's click on next. And then to start, just click on refresh. When you click on refresh, you're going to get all these uh, ports, com ports. So, but our, our device is here. Make sure that your device, once you boot into purple mode, your device is under ports. So, to, to send our device into the port, just click on update, update driver, then go to click here. Then make sure you select USB serial device. USB serial device. Done. So now it will refresh. It will, it will refresh. Yes. Now once, once you see that, you can see that our device is COM5. Our device is COM5. Now go to program this. If you don't see your COM here, click on refresh click on refresh here and then it should show the com5 yes this is the easy the serial number we are going to uh, change to this is the serial number we are going to change our device's serial number to. let me quickly copy it and show you that this is another serial number of a, of a device so let's go to i3 iCloud website then check this Okay, let's quickly do the capture and then verify. So now it's going to check. You can see that our device is iPhone 4S, but we are. I, we, you can see the serial number is iPhone 4S. Yes. Okay. So now let's go to our uh, our, our program disk. Since we've selected the correct port and then this is our serial number we want to change to you can or you can change to anything you want to buy that only in advisor just change it to the serial number you want to change to so then click, click on write it will ask you are you sure you want to change the serial number if you want to just click yes if not click on no yes i want to change it so click on yes so it has successfully written the serial number note the serial number here and then if the device is going to reboot we are going to compare this serial number to the serial number that's three tools will show us okay so our device has now booted and then Yeah, so we should reconnect to the computer right now. There's no way for me to. Wait, wait for it to connect to the computer. Our serial number has successfully been changed. Yes, our serial number has changed. You can copy it right from three users, and this is the proof that the serial number has been changed. You can check it again on on this website, and then you're going to get the same thing. iPhone 4 is although our iPhone is iPhone 7 GSM. So that is how you change your serial number to um, a different serial number. Uh, please use this tool very cautiously because your device can get bricked you can lose your activation forever and stuff so please make sure that you use this um, <coughs> use this tool very cautiously and thank you for watching the video and make sure you subscribe like and then join the telegram channel because most of you are having issues registering your device and blah 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 yes our web our website website was taken down by the host 
I, I seen that a lot of people, some people or the person is reporting uh, websites that it 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 sells malicious tools and stuff, and then it's it's an illegal website, and we have been blocked twice. So this is our third um, our third uh, website here. So if you want to register with Vice, make sure that you use this this address and make sure that you're using the latest. Um, you're using the latest version of the tool now. The latest version is um, 2. I believe 2.3.1. Make sure that that is the one you're using, or higher than that. You're using that or higher. Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.